Arrival is the second instrumental track which ABBA officially released, and the last one. Discussions put apart about whether the girls chant break or not this classification. As the closing track from the homonym LP, it does not show itself as a falling curtain, but as the shining from positive things that are about to come. Arrival tastes like a wet field. It tastes like the rising sun from the horizon. When Agneta and Frida join the orchestra played by Benny on his keyboards, we feel at first a soft breeze, and then the heat from the star's rays that supply life. Music that smell like kelp. More bringing variety to close an LP which displayed folk, funk, cabaret, Latin American rhythms, all of them wearing the unmistakable ABBA stamp. Michael Field couldn't help making his version, after listening how much Arrival reflected his uncomposing taste. Almost an excuse, he claimed that he wanted to get the song rid of what he called an ugly old synth sound. But, when he released it as a single, he appeared on the cover on board of a helicopter, paying tribute to the cover of the Swedes' classic album. We have to grant some truth to Oldfield. The amount of keyboard overdubs that adorned Arrival gave it the feel of a large bagpipes and strings orchestra, but in 1976 such a lot of overdubs would pay a high cost in the shape of saturation and noise, especially when some of the instruments of this electronic orchestra came from the Mellotron, a keyboard that gave a unique atmosphere from its sounds pre-recorded on tapes, sounds that, sadly, were also mono aural and featured a lot of hiss. The latter came from the tapes in themselves, passing through the heads when playing the instrument. The ugly result could be improved after many hours of addition to expand the sound and reduce the noise. The enormous mass of different chords played by the mini Moog produced noise as well, given the fact that to produce them you had to make uncountable overdubs, for that synth is monophonic. You could play a single note at a time. Nevertheless, Arrival survives all that mess. Beautiful in its simplicity, it features a short melody that is repeated three times in the same key. What distinguishes each repetition from each other is Agneta and Frida's chant. At first, we listen the full melody without vocals, only Benny's keyboards. Then, that melody is singed along by the girls in a gentle way. In the last repetition, they inject more energy from their inflated chest giving the song a pompous air. An interesting falsetto sprinkles brilliant colors from the top of the musical staff. It is not true that Anderson is the only musician on this track. A true string orchestra arranged by Rutger Gunnarsson gives support to Benny's keyboards. It is an Anderson Olbius project, but it is hard not to doubt about how much Bjorn the chord strummer in the process of composition could have contributed to this instrumental. Arrival displays a strong Anderson stamp in terms of melodic pattern and arrangement. It shows Benny's inexhaustible interest in Northern Europe folk music. This characteristic almost kept this song out of the Arrival LP. Benny says. I remember that Michael and I stayed la late one night and did some work on it with the Mellotron and the Mini Moog so that we could make a convincing case of it. It's much easier to get your way if you can say, listen to this, instead of humming your way through a half-finished idea. Originally titled Fuel, this track would not get its final title until Lillebill, then designer Rune Soderbist's wife, suggested that Arrival could make a great, strong name for the upcoming album. The Arrival album was, paraphrasing, Abbas Arrival to the top of the charts of almost the whole globe. A sweet memory is that, to Michael Tretto, 
this truck mixing section meant another arrival. He says, we were working very intensely with vocal overdubs and such for this truck when my daughter was born on September 12th. I can remember rushing back and forth between the studio and the hospital. <laughs> 